changes in solid materials when bent. Bent, sa Tagalog is binaloktot. The meaning of this is sharply curved or having an angle, tulad ng nakikita nyo sa picture. Here are some examples of solid materials that you can bend. Plastic roller, electric wire, metal spoon, kutsara na bakal, paper clip, rubber slippers sa chinelas, tie wire or alambre. Activity Take a photo of you while bending one material from our examples. So, pipili ka lang ng isang material dun sa example na pinakita ni sir and then try bending it, ibibend mo. Ask your guardian for help kung sino man ang kasama mo ngayon. Kung kasama mo si nanay, si tatay, si ate, si kuya, si tita, si tito, si, lo si lolo o si lola. Kung sino man ang tumutulong sa iyo sumagot sa module ngayon, ask for help. Hingi ka ng tulong. Then, Pag nakuha mo na yung picture mo, napicturean mo na sarili mo na nagbe-bend ng material na pinakita ni sir, put your picture on the comment section or upload it on our GC. Remember, solid materials can be bent o baloktot. When bent, these materials may change their size and shape. Pwedeng magbago ang kanyang sukat at ugis. No new material is formed. Walang bagong material ang mabubuo. Only the physical appearance o yung panglabas na anyo ng material ang magbabago. The changes that this material underwent is called physical change. Changes in solid materials when they are pressed. Ano nga ba yung press? So, press sa Tagalog is pagpindot o pagtiin. This means to apply pressure to something, to flatten para matipi, to shape, ihugis or ihulma, or to smooth if mapakinis ang isang material. Here are some examples of solid materials that can be pressed. Clay. Alam nyo na yung clay. Dough. Yan yung harina, panggawang bread or tinapay. And you can also press bread. Yung tinapay mismo, pwede mong i-press na PPP. Pillow, unan, and plastic or paper cups. Pag itatapon mo sila, di ba pinipress mo or pinipipi mo sila. Activity. What are the changes that may happen if you bend or press a material? So, eto, may clue na si sir. The material may change its blank and blank. So, isulat mo lang to dyan sa comment section. Ano kaya yung hinahanap na answer ni sir? The material may change its blank and blank. Remember, solid materials have definite shape and volume. They have different characteristics o katangian, tulad ng size, sukat, shape, hugis, color, gulay, texture, o pagkakayari, makinis ba o magaspang, and weight or timbang. Solid materials can be pressed. When pressed, this material may change o magbago ang kanyang size and shape. Other solid materials may also change their texture when pressed. 
However, no new material is formed. Walang bagong material ang nabuo. Because only the physical appearance o physical na itsura lamang ng material ang nagbago. So that's all for today. I hope nakatulong itong video na to para masagutan nyo ng maayos yung inyong module.